How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Gary's Mod Map Showcase and in today's video we're going to take a look at an amazing cyberpunk inspired map that doesn't have a whole lot of room but definitely will make up for it with the amount of atmosphere that this map provides. This is Cyberpunk Apartments and boy oh boy is this an amazing map. So as you guys know I love anything cyberpunk and if you guys do love cyberpunk then this is going to fill that void that might be there from, well, not having enough cyberpunk content, even though there is the new Phantom Liberty expansion out for Cyberpunk 2077, which is amazing, by the way. And in fact, we've even taken a look at some cyberpunk-inspired mods. I'll go ahead and put that video in the top right corner. But right off the bat, we can see this living quarters area is filled with neon lights and a dark, brooming atmosphere, something that is a very telltale sign of a cyberpunk environment. And I don't know why, but I really just do not get sick of this look. It looks beautiful, the neon looks great, just the way that it sparkles in a dark, dimly lit room really just gives you that punchy contrast, and something about that has always been so hypnotizing to me. Alright, so far so good, and I gotta give it to the map creator. The use of the volumetric fog effect really does kind of bring this place, well, down technically, but also up because it really is giving that extra oomph to the atmosphere that I think would be missing without it. So this is the main area that we've already gone over, but of course the real action takes place right here. This is the actual apartment portion of the map. Now there's not really much of a need to do a cinematic camera for this, although I'll probably just do it right now briefly to show you guys some of the rooms because there's not really a whole lot. But now we're going to go into deeper detail onto what this place really looks like. Alright, now for real. What does this map look like inside? Well, here in the living quarters you can see we have a sign that is very reminiscent of the signs outside. It's kind of funny too because the interior of this place isn't really all that cyberpunk. In fact, it's pretty typical. Which is kind of funny because it shows that you don't really need a whole lot to have a cyberpunk looking aesthetic. And here we have a bathroom with some standard bathroom amenities, but also no mirrors. Because well, as you guys have probably seen in games, making mirror-like reflections seem believable is extremely hard to do. And then of course you have Dead Island too, which just doesn't even try. But like right here, we can see the ominous glow from this sign is really adding a bunch to this room. In fact, if I were to go ahead and just sit here, Look at how beautiful this is. Alright, and here's the same scene, but I've gone ahead and, well, gotten rid of the lights. Now, of course, well, the light's still there, but it's not as visible, and the vibe completely feels off. Now it just feels like a run-down, mid-2000s looking house. But deleting it, ho ho, I think that red neon really does a whole lot for the picture. Okay, all jokes aside, it is a nice touch, and then we do have a telephone over here, which is very old school for something that should be cyberpunk. Some trash, some books, really not a whole lot going on here. But of course, as we move on into the kitchen area, which also doubles as the office room, kind of a strange place to put a desk if you ask me, but hey, dude's got that sick dual monitor setup. We can also see takeout is a common theme here in a cyberpunk world, especially when you're living in an apartment. We have the fridge here and, well, some other appliances. And wait, is that soap? Really nothing all that extraordinary here, but the show must go on. Going down the hallway here, we can see there is a door that we did not open in the flyby, but let's go ahead and go out through the balcony because, well, there's not a lot to see here. It's completely barred up, probably to stop people from jumping off and committing suicide because of how depressing living in a setting like this would be like, which has me kind of wondering, why do we like cyberpunk so much? Like the setting is beautiful, but dimsel at the same time. And something about that contrast is so enticing to me. The whole low-life, high-tech thing has always been so fascinating. And I love that we can explore it in a medium that is safe, like video games. Because let's all be honest, living in a cyberpunk world in real life would suck absolute balls. But here we have the bedroom. I would say the master bedroom, but let's be honest, this is the only bedroom. And you know what? Even though it's kind of depressing and, well, like a concrete prison, it's kind of homey. We got a nice little fan going on here. We have a single light just raining down over the person who would be sleeping in this bed. We have a very prehistoric looking alarm clock and we have a nice TV. So you know what? I don't care what anyone says. I would love to live in a place like this. As long as there's no roaches or bed bugs, I'm pretty good. Now, I really wish there was more to explore in this map, but unfortunately, that really is all that's in this map. It's not big, but it's dense, and it's filled with that character that you look for when you want a cyberpunk map. 
Now, is there nodes? That's another good question. And in my opinion, one of the best ways to test for this is to spawn a Combine Soldier pretty far away and see how he reacts. He threw a grenade, which is a good sign. He is also kind of maneuvering around the map. If they only stay in one spot, that's a good sign that you're playing on a map that does not have nodes. And look at that, he's coming into the building. So it's safe to say there's nodes or some semblance of nodes on this map. Yo, bro, you do not want to square up in my bathroom. All right, now that we've taken care of that, what about a nav mesh? Here we have the DRG NPC known as, well, Jeff. And as you can see, we did not get the notification saying there is not a nav mesh on this map. Now, can Jeff open doors? That one has yet to be decided upon. But it's safe to say there is a navigation mesh on this map, which I didn't see anywhere in the description unless I missed it. So really good work on the map creator. It didn't leave any stone unturned. It's not trying to do too much. It's just a nice, simple, basic map. So as always, guys, I'd love to see your thoughts down below in the comment section if you do want to leave a comment. As always, you can leave a like or subscribe if you want to. Links will be in the description as always. I definitely did not do this all right. Sorry about the clipping. Guys, this is a pretty sick map. I definitely recommend it for all you cyberpunk fans out there, or just anyone who likes to have an atmospheric map. If you guys want to become a member today, you definitely can to get some cool perks, like some special emojis and even a badge next to your name. Also, if you want to get 20% off your G Fuel order, use code NECROS94. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and until next time, farewell.